I like to call this Italian macaroni and cheese. All but right. It's cacio pepe. One, two, three, four ingredients plus water, five. So, and that's the key to cooking at the home is, for me, is like not make anything too involved. So when do you find yourself actually cooking this, actually cooking at home? Typically it's really late at night when there's nothing else open. I think I lazy it up a little. At four in the morning after I've had like five or six Jamesons, balance really doesn't mean anything to me. So it's, it's about putting... So it's quantity of cheese, it is quantity, quantity of, of butter. Cheese, totally legit, like I made this the other day and I put so much cheese it hurt my stomach. I don't salt this water. Um, because the cheese brings enough salt to it? Yeah, because I want to, because <laughs> actually I can put more cheese in if I don't salt it. So you wait for it to come to a full boil? Typically I don't, but then if you don't, <laughs> typically I don't because I'm lazy. The idea is that you do. The idea is that you do, but if you do put it in, you got to like you got to be on it and move, keep on moving it. You know, when I'm cooking at home, I'm usually built for speed. So I just want to get it done, eat, and go to bed. If you're making cacio pepe, one of the secrets is to cook it in half the amount of water that you would normally cook. Okay. The pasta in so the starches turn the water into like the starchy, watery goodness that right when you add your butter and your cheese and your pasta back into, that it um, helps create a thick, uh, a nice coating, uh, emulsified sauce. No other thing you have to do when you do use this amount of water, you mm -hmm. have to watch that it's not sticking. You know, the last thing you want is all these all these individual noodles to start sticking together. At that point, I'm so lazy, I just work my way around it. You just eat around it. You're like, oh, I don't want to pick this out. So you have this clump of pasta exactly. that this also is, has cheese on it. Yeah, that's staring at you like, this is you messed up. I mean, it's pasta and cheese, so it's like, even when it sucks, it's still like, well, I'm glad I'm eating this. I'm glad I'm eating this. It is the perfect bachelor move. Typically where I rummage through my, my refrigerator and be like, should I bump this up or should it just be pure pasta? I am a super emotional eater. So if like I had a really hard day at work, like this pot, I would have to get a bigger pot. Yeah, so the pasta's getting close. All right. And here's a lazy man. And usually doesn't work very well, but stay in, stay in. This is where like it happens really fast. That's a ton of butter. <laughs> So I just turn the temperature down a little bit. You have to keep everything moving at this point. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you want to create that emulsion for the butter. Now that the butter's melted, now we're just going to go in with the cheese. <laughs> it looks like mac and cheese. Well, it's already thickened up so yeah, much. Yes, thickened up. It's tightened up a little bit. And then I just go ahead and do this guy. Just to finish it. Just in case. Just in case. You didn't get enough. Goddamn, Dale. <laughs> That's how I roll. And these are one of those dishes where you have to really eat it as soon as it's out of the out of the pan. So do you usually take it out of the pan, or is no, it sort usually, of you a fork and the pan? I just kind of do this and trough it in. I figured. <laughs> it seemed that way. <laughs> I've been I have been known to just put this on a paper towel at the at my counter, and uh, in front of Sports Center. Yeah, and just eat it. We'll do this Dale style, straight out of the pan. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Thank you. I mean, it, it kind of is what it is. <laughs> my name is Dale Tolly, and I uh, hope you enjoy my cacio pepe. <laughs>